What's up you guys, it's grocery day, my favorite day of the week. What's up my friends? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time stopping by. My name is Jennifer. I have my grocery haul here behind you that I'm going to share with you guys along with our meal plan to feed our family of four. But first I want to share with you guys a friend of mine here on YouTube. Today's video is a collaboration with her. You ain't gonna believe who it is. Carla McKenzie. If you've been hanging around my channel for any amount of time, you will know that I am constantly talking about McKenzie's channel. If you don't know who she is, I highly recommend you go check her out. I will leave her channel link down in my description box below, along with a link to her grocery haul video that she is posting for you guys today over on her channel. So if you are already not familiar with Mackenzie, let me tell you a little bit about her. She is a mama of two girls, and over on her channel, you will find some crock pot and recipe videos but what she is mostly known for is her shop with me videos and her grocery hauls she actually takes you in the store with her and shows you all of the new snacks and all of the new foods that are coming out which is very helpful for this mama because i don't get out much <laughs> but also seasonally she will take you into the store and show you all of the new clothing that has come out so that is awesome as well I really think that you guys will really love her channel, and I think that you guys should go and check her out. Don't forget, her link will be down in my description box below. If you're coming over from Mackenzie's channel, thank you so much for coming on over here and checking out today's video. I hope that you will decide to subscribe and stick around because we would absolutely love to have you. All right, you guys, we spent a total of $142 at Walmart, and then we also spent $23 at Ingles because we had a couple of sale items that we needed to pick up. So first, I'm going to share with you guys my meal plan and then we'll get into the haul. All right, let's go guys. All right, you guys, if you've been around any length of time, you'll know we always start our meal plan out on Saturdays. I'm gonna make a chicken stir fry on Saturday. Sunday, we're gonna do a skillet sausage and rice recipe with Brussels sprouts. I have made this in the past and it is so good and so filling you guys. And also there's usually plenty of leftovers. Monday, I'm gonna do instant pot potato soup. Winter is here and I'm, I'm wanting to kick it out. I want spring so bad I can't stand it. But while winter's here, I'm gonna enjoy me some soups. Tuesday, we're gonna do grilled chicken with cabbage steaks and mac and cheese. Wednesday is going to be pizza. Thursday is every man for himself. And Friday night, we usually send out to go get something or we go somewhere. Either way, the kitchen is closed. Alrighty, we went ahead and picked up a, another loaf of this Nature's Own Butter Bread. It's so good, you guys. And um, it makes some really good grilled cheese sandwiches, by the way. Okay, so we had a little miscommunication on here. I ordered a cabbage because we're having cabbage steaks one night this week. And Jeff also needed some cabbage to make his uh, slaw with for his hot dogs. So <laughs> he didn't really tell me that until the last minute. I could have added it to the grocery order, but that's why there's two. One came from Ingalls and one came from Walmart, just so you know. We've got a bag of Brussels sprouts here. That's going to be a side. I'm going to roast those in our little... Um, toaster oven we went ahead and got two bags of, do y'all see what i see y'all know i did not install that like that holy macaroni that bothers me i can't take it there and, it, and it's empty and it's empty okay moving on lord have mercy so come back to me now come back to me <laughs> went ahead and got two bags of chips this week i got the great value salt and vinegar and then i got one bag of the just original potato chips the boys really love to dip potato chips in ketchup anybody else do that it's really good and then went ahead and got some bananas i've got five pounds of russet potatoes we'll use part of that for the um instant pot potato soup that I'm making. We've got three sweet onions here. We're going to cut those up and make Coke onions um, to go with the hot dog sales for tomorrow. Purple onions is what Jeff has chosen to put on his hot dogs instead of just yellow, regular yellow onions. He thinks it looks prettier. We were running out of our onion supply here, so I went ahead and got a bag of those from Walmart. Went ahead and got some garlic because we were running out of that here, and that is all the fruits and veggies we got. And I've been seeing these bad boys and I've been wanting to try them so bad and I finally gave in. So these are the caramel coconut Oreos. So I went ahead and got some of those. I've got one box of elbow noodles for this week. That's going to be, um, part of that's going to go in the mac and cheese I'm making one night. I got Harrison his mac and cheese. 
He loves that. It basically lives off of it, but you know. <laughs> I've got some beef bouillon cubes here. We needed that. And then we needed more mayonnaise. Jeff's been making his own hot dog slaw and is delicious. So we needed some more Dukes. We got some Hershey's Simply Five syrup here for the chocolate milk. Some more cheese it Grooves. This is the Sharp White Cheddar. If you have not tried these, you really should. They're really good. <laughs> We've got three cans of the Hormel Chili with no beans. That's for the hot dog sale tomorrow. <laughs> this is so funny, you guys, on my last grocery haul. I didn't even notice until I was editing that one of them was chili with beans. Yeah, I went through the whole spiel, the whole, pulled it out of the bag, looked at it and everything, didn't even notice it till it was on my computer. I was like, Jeff, look at this. They gave us one with, one with beans. It's like, oh my gosh, we'll eat it. Then we got some sauerkraut here for the hot dogs. We went ahead and got a 16 count of beef bun length ballpark hot dogs here. He's got some, and but he just needed one more pack for tomorrow. In my macaroni and cheese, I like to use this extra sharp cheddar, so I'll be Shredding that up to put in that. We need some more butter as we were running out of that. I got this for a breakfast for one morning. Hayden really loves Bojangles um, Bowberry biscuits. If you're, I don't know, I don't, do they have Bojangles in the north or anywhere else? Because I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just, it's kind of like a southern thing. But anyway, their Bowberry biscuits are so good, you guys. So anyway, those are kind of comparable. Definitely not as good, but you know, if you just want to make something at home real quick. We got some Sunny D here because. We just needed it. Needed some more ranch because we ran out of that. Hayden requested some Power Aid. As you guys know, this my son, my nine year old son, has a mini fridge in his room. Apparently, all the gamers do it. So, anyway, he wanted some of those to put in his fridge. So, I let him pick those out. Back to the meat department here. We got a what is this? A little over five pounds of chicken breast. We needed some more to throw in our freezer. Got some better than bouillon chicken base here because I had ran out of that. I know this grocery haul is all over the place. I didn't put things in a good order, did I? And we got this butterball turkey sausage. This is what I like to use in that skillet sausage and rice um, recipe that I make. Got some heavy whipping cream that goes in the potato soup recipe. Back here in the back, I've got three twist ups. I don't know if you're if you're new here, maybe you are, maybe you're not, but I like to mix Sunny D and Twist Up and make like a little little fizzy orange drink. It's pretty good. Sometimes I throw cherries in it too. Sometimes I don't. Jeff requested three <laughs> gallons of purified water here. That's for his hot dog shenanigans. And then he also needed some jalapeno slices. I didn't realize that I was buying the whole store's worth of jalapenos, but it's all right. It's okay because it is what it is. We'll use them. And then I got this 31 ounce of Heinz Simply. I like this Simply because it doesn't have the high fructose corn syrup in it. Like I've said a million times, I try to eliminate that where and when I can. They didn't have the big bottle of apple juice, so I had to get this one, but that's all right. Jeff needed some Pepsis and Ingles had them on sale. So for tomorrow for his hot dog sale. Hot dog this and hot dog that. So <laughs> we've got one case of Diet Pepsi, one case of regular Pepsi, and one case of Mountain Dew. Went ahead and got a six count of twist ups here in the can. The boys, every once in a while, if they ask for a soda or something, that's what I let them have. Then we've got a 24 pack of our Diet Pepsis because that is a staple around here. For non food items this week, the boys ran out of their multivitamins. So I went ahead and got that. I was running out of laundry detergent. So I went ahead and got this. This stuff smells so good. This is the Paradise Fresh in the Great Value brand. You guys, it smells so good. And then I went ahead and picked up this contour palette. I really just needed some kind of like bronzer. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not really much on like contouring my face and stuff like that. But I do like to kind of put it around like the edge of my forehead and stuff like that. Make me make me look like I got a little bit of a tan. During the winter time when the sun doesn't come out, my skin gets so white. It's just gray gray, okay? So anyway, so I got that. It was, you know, pretty good price. And then guess what? Y'all are not going to believe this. Harrison has done potty trained himself, you guys. I don't know if you remember. It's been uh, maybe a month or two ago. I did a grocery haul where I said, you know, we're doing the potty training thing. I was not pushing that child. And 
I knew from experience with Hayden, the best thing to do is to let them, you know, kind of do it on their own. Let them try to find their own interest in it. So that's what I did, y'all. This boy has done potty train himself. We ain't buying no more diapers. He ain't put a diaper on. I can't tell you when. So anyway, <laughs> I got these um, little Parents' Choice training pants here. And this is only for him to sleep in at night so he doesn't have an accident in his bed, which he's been waking up dry. So, yay for Harrison. He's potty trained. Just in time for Miss Miss Thang to make an appearance and me have to start buying diapers again. Oh, that reminds me. I told y'all I was going to start buying a pack of diapers every week. And I completely forgot this week. Completely forgot. Okay, maybe we'll pick that up back next week. All right, you guys. So I just realized that my frozen food had gotten put away. So... Here's what we got. We got two boxes of garlic breadsticks, four sides for this week. Went in and picked up a bag of the regular cut French fries. We were all out of frozen French fries. I can't believe I let us run out. And then this is the stir fry mix that I'm going to put with the chicken for this week. So I went ahead and got a bag of that. And our bacon, of course, we have to have bacon. Also, went ahead and got one bag of the fully cooked chicken nuggets. These are our favorite. I've tried all the other ones. And Hayden thinks that the dino nuggets have a funny taste to them so we just went back to great value so yep those are that's our frozen food for this week all righty my friends that is going to wrap it up for today thank you so much for hanging out with me today if you enjoyed today's video you know what to do give me a great big old thumbs up down below leave me a comment and show us some love don't forget to go check out Mackenzie's channel her link will be in my description box down below you are going to absolutely love her if you are already not familiar with her channel highly recommend she's funky just like me if you like me you'll like her all right, you guys, I hope everyone has a wonderful week and we will see you all next time. Bye-bye.